three runners for Montana Turner on Friday. Starting off in race two will be Shadevre, and she's going to be trying a touch further, stepping up to 1400. Yeah, how's it? Um, work's been absolutely phenomenal. I think she's been crying out for the extra trip, so I'm very pleased that the 14 has come as soon as it did. She's got a nice neat draw of draw one, so fingers crossed she can show a lot of improvement here. This beautiful lady in the background is Sumiko, and we'll see her in action in race three. Now, she showed really good improvement on local debut last time out. Yeah, I actually have to say a big thanks to Tony for that. Um, when she did arrive, he said throw her straight onto the poly track. He thinks she'll really prefer the surface. Um, so, look, we've had a lot of rain, so I'm hoping we do switch, because I think it'll suit her down to yeah. the ground beautifully. And fortunately, she's jumping from basically the end two, so. <laughs> Um, but she does drop out and she does run on from the back. So hopefully with a bit of luck, Yuse can find a nice gap and she can show more improvement here. The third of the runners is Ironbach and we'll see him in action in race six, which is our non-black type feature, the Fairview Flying Five. He's going to be starting for Montana for the very first time. And Montana, he does so for a little break. Uh, yeah, when he arrived, there were a few problems. So... Mm. He was supposed to have three runs coming into this, so the prep kind of went clean out the window. Mm. So he's he's starting off on a bit of a back foot here. Um, his vaccines were out, so just to get them up to date, um, he was out for six weeks. So that was yeah. a bit of a drawback. So his work has been lovely. I wish I had a bit more prep coming into this, but I'm just hoping on a Hail Mary, yeah. Well, he's got to start somewhere. Let's hope it all comes together for him, and we'll look forward to seeing him for the first time on Friday.